Maybe if not responding when they put under pressure in the four check that got maybe got you behind the play. No, they just outworked us. Every zone. They out they outworked us, they won puck battles. Um you can you can package this game any way you want and at the end of the day they outworked us. A little bit of an odd play with the puke stag high sticking his own guy there. Mm -hmm. Um, that that one stuck out to me. Also, the the play where Jones gets pummeled in the slot. He looked up like, are they going to make the call or not? Um, I, without getting too much into this, uh, I mean, are you guys feeling still the disparity where the you know? No, nah, like tonight that wasn't an issue. Yeah, I understand. That. So no, that's that's the farthest thing from our focus as coaches. <clears throat> is the puzzling thing is we've really strung together, you know, some good games in the last ten since we went out east. Yeah. And, um, you know, the Calgary game was a little bit sloppy, which sometimes happens on the return from a long trip on the East Coast. But, you know, the other games we played well. And uh, tonight we did not. They 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 outworked us and they they won, I would say, 70% of the one-on-one -on -one puck battles. Did that really disrupt your passing? It didn't seem like there were a lot of stringing together long sequences. Right? Everywhere. We couldn't make a pass. We didn't hit tape. It was just, this, to me, it looked like, um, they came out to win a hockey game, and we came out to play hockey. Is there some factor of, you know, when you played Vegas, of playing a really top team that maybe getting more psyched up for it? Or, no, I think the, this team's just came down. They were losing 4 nothing to Colorado, and they came back and won 5-4. Um, you know, they've, they've beaten us before, and we were fortunate to win at home last time in overtime. So... I really like their team. I've said it all along. They're fast. They play a very unique brand of hockey where their D are up involved in the play. And you saw a lot of times on their cycles that D were walking down the weak side with the puck uncovered. You know, they had the goal there with uh, Kraus where he was wide open on the back, back door and they missed another tap in in the second period. So that game easily could have been 5 nothing. A game like this, is it kind of easy to just maybe perhaps throw it in the trash bin and say we'll get them next time or is yeah, there exactly things you can thing, take right? away from that yeah i've heard that before i don't i don't buy that i mean they're getting paid to play and win hockey games if that's your mentality i'm not saying you're saying that's that but i've heard that i don't i don't buy it is there anything specifically that you can take away from tonight that was maybe positive for question on gibson 30 saves but anything other than that yeah it was good actually it was a good comparison to see how a team actually works for 60 minutes you know, like they worked for 60 minutes. And they were smart in the third period. They, you know, they pulled back a little bit because they were up 2 nothing. But, you know, they, even their, their their power play, they scored the one, but they had multiple shots on that. I mean, they were tearing us apart with seam passes, and our power play couldn't make a tape to tape pass. You know, so if you really, you know, want to weave a, a, a common thread through the game, it's we didn't compete and we didn't execute passing I mean it's simple as that and they did like they made that pass Michelli made to Kraus in the back door was incredible and you know we had a guy standing there and he was staring at the puck didn't even see him behind him so that, that and and by the way Michelli had gotten checked multiple times before he came off the wall and spun so that to me is a reflection of how hard they wanted to win the game and how we were just playing hockey okay